How can I use VBScript to email records from an access table, query or report? All I need is a Windows machine to run this VBScript code. What is VBScript? It's a lightweight language, lighter than VBA, but it has quite some power because it is a fast running interpreter for a wide variety of environments. All I need is Notepad on a Windows machine and I can create VB script. What does this script do? I will give you one simple example. It opens an access database and an access table automatically and asks you do you want to email this table. If you say yes, it's going to ask you to whom do you want to mail this to and you type in an email address. Once you click OK, it asks you in a dialog box how do you want to format your output. I'm, I'm going for an Excel worksheet, workbook output. And then it opens your email editor, in my case Outlook. It puts the email address there, it puts the subject title there. In the body it puts a short note. And there is your Excel file from Access Tables. When you send it, it will go to a user. How do you create this code? You open Notepad and you start typing. Uh, what you type is not case sensitive, but it's very sensitive to any typos. So make sure that you type everything correctly. If you know VBA, you will recognize a lot of commands. You create an object, access.application or sometimes word.application, outlook.excel, etc. You use a set keyword to store that in a variable. You don't have to declare variables and you don't even need to declare variables because it is open to all kinds of variables. Uh, if you don't set that object as visible, then you will never see it. It's open, but you cannot see it. You want to see what is in there. Then it's going to ask what is the path of your notepad file that you are going to create, your VB script file. You can find that through the W script option of VB script. That has a script full name property. And you take from that script full name property, you take everything to, from the left to, up to the last backward slash. You do that with an in string reverse search. So it starts searching at the end for the last backslash. That position is going to be, let's say, position 58. It takes the left of the full name up to and including the 58 position. Then you are going to create the file name for the database that you want to open. Let's say that is stored in that same path. Backslash, we have that already in as path. And then the database that I'm using is called mdb employees.mdb. We use OAC to open the current database with the name S file, eventually mdb employees.mdb, and we have more to do. This is what we had already typed. Now we are going to use the do command of access to open the table that I called TBL employees. You could replace this with an input box and ask the user what is the name of the table you want to open in that database. So it's not always TBL employees. Then we ask the user, do you want to email this table? If they say yes, then we are going to put something in this if clause. We are going to find what the address is of the mail recipient. We do that with an input box, mail it to, and the user types the address of that person. If it's always the same person, you just put that address right here. Then you use the do command again, like we did before, but this time with the send object subroutine. 
and it has a whole bunch of arguments. Let me explain them. The first argument is what are you sending? A table, a report, a form, a query. In this case, AC send table. Then the name of that table, TBL employees. What is the format of the table? We leave that empty because we let the user decide that with a dialog box. Then to whom do you want to send it? That is S address. Remember S address was what the user typed in the input box. You want a copy to someone? No. Do you want a blind copy? No. What is the subject line? Listing of employees. What is the message text? Attachment as requested. Do you want to allow added yes or no, true or false? Okay. However, if someone cancels those dialog boxes, we get an error message. So we have to say on error resume next, in case they do cancel, then it will just go to the next line after send object, which is the end if statement, and we need more. This is what we had typed already, briefly. The next step is we another do command. We close something. What? The a table type thing with the name TBL employees. And we say save no for nothing was changed in that table. Then we close the current database in access. And we quit access. And we set O access that variable to nothing. You don't have to, but it's usually a good way to do. What have we gotten so far? Let's say you had typed this in Notepad. What do you do when you are done typing and you have checked all your stuff? You are going to save that file, but make sure, and that is the important step to remember, that you don't save it as a text file. But under all files, you will find a whole bunch of types there and make sure that the extension of that file is going to be VBS. It stands for VB script. You save it. And you will find it now in the same folder where you had all your other files for this project as whatever you called it, .vbs. When you double click on it, on any Windows machine, it will open this, not in Notepad of course, for it doesn't have a TXT extension, but it will run it as a VB script. And it will ask you what I showed you at the beginning. Uh, do you, uh, you open the access database, it opens the table, etc. There is probably much more you want to know about VB script because it's a, a very handy programming tool and very easy to learn. I have much more information on a CD-ROM that I developed on this issue. It has the following table of contents. It gives you an idea how powerful VBScript can be. You can work with variables, you can make go through loops, you can create arrays, you can manage files in all ways for text files, Outlook files, Word files, Excel files. How do you interact with Microsoft Excel? How do you do data validation on the internet? How do you tap into Access and ADO? How do you create web pages in HTML? How do you mobilize Microsoft Outlook? And we will explain all other issues in there. You can find this CD-ROM at MrExcel.com or Amazon.com. You just type in my name, Gerard Verschuren, and you will find this CD-ROM, many others, and other books that I created on these issues. I wish you good luck.